Welcome back guys, we're back with another D22 solid axle swap video. Hopefully you can see that the audio and video quality are better. Um, we've picked up a new camera from Tom from Rome Life, so thanks for that Tom. Uh, what we're cracking into today is we're gonna put in our steering box and pan hard and hopefully the steering links to go with them. Um, so we're gonna put our left hand side knuckle back on the diff. We're gonna chuck our GU Patrol steering box back where the D22 steering box came off of, so right here. Um, once that steering box is in, we're going to chuck in our drag link from a GU Patrol and then after that we're going to attach our GU Patrol pan hard rod onto the diff bracket that we welded on last episode. Then from there we're going to run that pan hard over this side to a pan hard bracket that's going to get welded right behind the steering box. And the reason that we want to have all those arms in together is we want to have those arms running as parallel as we can. So we don't want them to be skewed because um, that'll give us bump steer. So best chance to avoid that and get good handling is to have both of them in position at the same time before we go welding things. So that's what we're going to aim to do today, get those arms attached. So what we're going to do now is weld through the pan hard bracket before we attach that onto the chassis. And we're going to weld the chassis bracing through uh, before we put the steering box on, just so that's welded through all the way behind it. Okay guys, so we've come through with the die grinder and we've cleaned up each of these holes here, um, which means that we can put the steering box up and bolt it in. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this weld here. We want that nice and flat so that the steering box can mount nice and flush. I'm gonna also grind back any proud welds on these here. Um, and I also wanna come through and weld up just behind the steering box so that this is all welded. I can put the steering box on and basically leave it until we need to paint. Um, and then maybe before I weld up the bracket, I'll, I'll weld behind where that's going to sit too. So Matt from Crawl Customs, he told me that you don't actually have to weld this chassis laminate all the way through. Just a couple stitches along it are fine. Um, however, I thought it would be better if I welded it all the way through because that means that it's airtight and you know there's less places for stuff to get caught and then lead to rust. Um, so I'm choosing to weld it all the way through. It gets really tempted to weld something all the way through, you know, start to finish. You can't do that or else it will bow and bend and twist. So what we want to do is just run a couple beads, you know, here and there. Um, it's okay to work in the same area but just don't weld it all the way through. So you know, a couple of beads all along it and then come back later and finish off that so it's welded all the way through. Okay, so we're gonna chuck our steering knuckle back on the passenger side um, so then we can attach our links to it. So we've got our steering knuckle on. We're gonna go back over the other side and try and attach our steering box. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grind flat anything that could be in our way, any welds that are a little bit proud and anything that's sharp. So any welds that left a, a rough edge, we're just gonna clean them up a little bit. Um, no one likes getting cut when they're working on stuff. And now comes the steering box. Boys, heavy. 
This is not. Get up there, you stinking dog. Piece of cake. So we're going to put in my drag link now, which comes very close to this. So we're going to have to trim that. And I already took out my road safe recovery point on this side because it hangs a bit lower than the tie down. Now we're attaching our tie down on this side. So we've got my drag link in place. It is very close to this tie down. So I am going to have to clearance that there, but it's pretty cool that I got steering now. You can see when I push it, we got steering. How cool is that? Alrighty guys, so we've got our arms in. They're actually upside down um, because we're trying to figure out how to fit everything in. So the only bracket that we're changing here is this pan hard bracket here. Um, and we're just trying to figure out how both of the arms look when this bracket is in position on the chassis here. So we want them to be parallel. Uh, the only trouble I'm having is this pan hard bracket here wants to contact on the pan hard um, right here. So I might have to just put a radius in there and give it a bit more clearance. Uh, what I was hoping for was if I flip the radius arm upside down, you can see that it has a little bit of a bend there and I was hoping that that would give us enough clearance, but it hasn't. So I'm gonna turn them around the right way, maybe even clearance this and then try and get the arms parallel and see what it looks like from there. So this is what we've got. So I just radius that out and I think that will definitely give us way more clearance than what we need. Um, but we'll give it a look now when we chuck it in. Alrighty guys, so we've been playing around with the pan hard and the bracket. It's been in and out a couple of times. I've had to re-weld it in. Um, basically what I came to was I wasn't happy with the bush binding up in the housing. Um, it basically, it wants to point backwards too far. So what I did was I twisted it and that meant the bush wouldn't bind up, but it then meant that I had a massive gap on the left side of the bracket. So this is what I've got now. Um, you can see if you look along there, that used to be a perfectly straight line. So what I've done is cut on an angle there and followed that line all the way down. And now this side and this side, when they contact, um, it's pointed backwards to the diff side, which is pretty well perfect. Um, the bush isn't binding anymore. Um, the only place that it's binding is on the other end, which we'll put a heim over there and it should be great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our drag link and pan hard off to the side for a little bit. Um, I'll mock them up. I'll, I'll probably just end up cutting these a little bit shorter, maybe extending the pan hard just as like a, a space saver, just so I know that the arms that are in there are at the length I need them while I order the ones that I'm actually gonna use. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is start preparing for our coilover towers. So that's gonna be next episode, which is pretty exciting. So what I need to do is weld through all this chassis plating um, in preparation because once the coilover tail goes up, obviously I can't weld behind it. So what I want to do is start welding now um, and spread it out over, you know, um, a couple of hours at least in order to let that heat transfer throughout the whole chassis um, and we're not going to get any bending or bowing. Alrighty, so this next part is no one's favorite and that's 
lying down underneath what you're welding because I need to get the underside of that chassis bracing. So I'm probably gonna get burned. So you can see I've had a couple cracks um, with the welder and I just couldn't get it right. So I've come through and ground them out. Um, I tried a couple different techniques and none of it was working. So I tweaked the settings on the welder and that's what we've come out with there. So um, it's, it's game on now. I'm gonna go through and weld through the bottom and hopefully we can have them all looking just like that one there. Alrighty guys, so you can see we've got a fair bit of porosity in that weld. That's because I've run out of gas. So this is all that we can do tonight. I'm gonna to cut the episode here, um, but you can see we've actually got a fair bit done and these welds are looking pretty schmick. Um, I had to stop to let it cool down anyway, so I think this is a good spot to, to cut the episode. Um, next episode, we'll be getting into the coilover towers, which I'm bloody keen for. I think they're gonna be awesome. They're the last of our brackets to go in, along with hydro bump stop mounts. Um, so I think it'll be really awesome to see the last of our brackets go in this and then the only thing left to do is weld it all the way through. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>